we have discussed face, face work, public self-image of a person and uh, strategies to protect one's face and uh, uh, to enhance other person's face. Uh, that we, when we protect our face, it means positive politeness and when we enhance or raise other person's face, public image, so it means negative politeness. So we have already discussed it, we are not repeating it here. Actually, we want to learn more about linguistic politeness. Uh, we are using this uh, word linguistic with it because it is different from moral politeness. It is not moral politeness. It is politeness that is defined by language, uh, language use. According to the addressee and uh, according to the expectations of the addressee. But, uh, when we come to moral uh, politeness, so, uh, we uh, don't uh, uh, need to consider such kind of expectations. Okay, so linguistic politeness. So, what are we going to learn new here about this? That is, when we talked in our previous modules about linguistic politeness, so we confined it to single individual speech acts. But here we will learn about linguistic politeness in case of longer talk in, in discourse in other words. We'll understand politeness as politeness is a set of strategies to protect and enhance face in interaction. Protect our face and enhance other person's addressee's face. This is one part of its definition. Second, politeness is assessed. How can we say that this person is polite or impolite? How this assessment is made? In the context of a COP, it would be decided according to the context of your social group, whether you are polite or not. Third, politeness is invisible. It is something abstract. How can we understand it? For example, we understand night when we compare it with the day. Exactly we will do this here. We can't understand politeness unless we compared it with impoliteness. And number four, this is fourth feature of politeness. In longer talk, which we have been calling discourse, long stretches of talk, uh, stretched over more than one exchanges and utterances and turns. In one act, a participant can be polite because during your longer talk, you perform more than one speech act. In one utterance, you perform a single speech act. But when there are more than one utterance, so definitely there will be more than one speech act. So during that, it is not the case that all speech act will be performed politely. In one act, you will be polite. In other, you may be impolite. And this is the case which was not discussed earlier. Number fifth, there can be differences in assessment of politeness. When a person is polite and impolite, one thing which we have already said is the context of your COP community or practice social group. Other factors are discussed by, again, Holmes, what she says. She says that women use language for relations and they are very careful about feelings of their addressee. So they are more polite. This is our opinion. And men, they exchange information 
for them language is a means of exchanging information they are not interested in relationship in social relationing so they are less polite this is her analysis so it shows that how would you assess politeness you will be different in your assessment whether you are doing this assessment for men or for women it is here that politeness enters with gendering enters in a gendered position so here in this module we have talked about six features of linguistic politeness where when we are involved in discourse now here up to this point we have three points of view number 1 lacoffs number 2 brown and levinsons they think there is a link of politeness with individual acts of men and women and this point of view is unacceptable lacoffs point of view also relates politeness directly with gender this is also unacceptable questionable means that it is uh, uh, debatable it needs further thinking home's statement that women are more polite than men this is based on stereotyped assessment so here too one element of stereotyping is involved so we have to see in coming discussions which of these points of view is more valid than the other